Hello Binanceians, what's going on? I am going to show you how to use the Binance Advanced Exchange. So here we are at the home page. So to get to the Advanced Exchange from anywhere on the website, we come up here and we click on Advanced. Now I'm currently on the edge of my seat because we just had a little bit of Bitcoin drama dropping from about 6,500 all the way down here to 6,200 and I'm kind of watching to see what's going to happen next. I'm anticipating possibly another further move down. But I wanted to get this video out for you so we will try to stay focused and knock that out. So this is a little bit different than the basic exchange, but you cannot scroll down to see your order history. Your order history and your trade history is all contained in this area right here. And you just toggle through to see these things right here. Okay. Uh, and the other two major differences are we have a different color theme. This is more of a dark grayish whereas the night theme on the basic has more of a uh, brown tone to it. And you have more options here on your chart for indicators and a bigger chart. Other than that, all the functions are basically the same. So uh, where should we start? Let's start right here with the order book. This is basically identical to the basic exchange and you have your sell orders and your buy orders or your asks and your bids and then you have toggles here where you can fully explore the order book all the way down here and all the way up here the other option to go with that would be to come here to your depth chart and you can zoom in on it and you can have a macro view here on what's going on as you can see we have heavy sell pressure going on right now oh and we just had a big buy wall come in so not sure where that came from but it is happening okay then you have the original chart here uh, this you do have a choice of some indicators as you can see right now we have a couple moving averages and we have the RSI down here at the bottom or you can switch over to the trading view chart which gives you a lot more options with different indicators and you can choose between all these different time frames if you want to move away from a candlestick chart you can click on time and you can view it from that perspective most people prefer the candlestick chart so let's go back to the one hour and if you want to zoom you can click on this zoom here and then you can put a square around what you want to zoom in it's a very handy tool there um, you know and then of course you can draw your trend lines so I'll hit alt H here um, ah, that's not a trend line. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> not necessarily a trend line. It's more like a drop off. If we want to draw a trend line, we would go more to like a one day chart. Click auto here. And then we can form our trend lines, which might run back a little bit further in time. So. But just for sake of this video, to give you an example here. Okay, so you get the idea of how the chart works. Um, and you can double click on these if you want to have a larger view and then just double click to move back out of that. Up here across the top, we have last price and other statistics for the current coin that we're on. If we click on this box, we can click on our favorites. We can go to the BNB market, the BTC market, etc., etc. And if we click on pair, it's going to move them in alphabetical order. Or you can go to last price from highest to lowest, 24 hour change. And here you can view which coin currently has the most volume moving through it. And then here's your search box. Okay, over here we have the most recent sales that are happening in real time. We can place our limit, market, and stop limit orders here. And you can watch the videos on those to learn more about that. And like I said, down here we have our open orders, our order history, our trade history, and our funds. And then here you can choose to look at the one week order history, the one month order history, and etc. So that's basically all there is to it. It's really 
pretty simple. It may look a little intimidating when you first come here, but if you can use Facebook or if you can use Instagram, this is actually much easier to use and much easier to navigate. I mean, on those platforms, you have just so many different buttons and options and settings and whatnot. So it, it will take you less than a day, I imagine, to get accustomed to this and be able to find your right way around and, and less than a week to really feel comfortable with it. So there you go. I hope the video was helpful and may Satoshi bless all your bags.